You know, if I were a kid and I really liked scooters, this is probably the exact storyline I would come up with for a video game. We can choose from two riders and from various colors of scooters, but the scooter color and rider don't matter because they all have the same stats. So this game is a Tony Hawk-like, but instead of collecting letters, we collect wheels, 30 of them to be exact, and they're spread all throughout the level. You just need to have a basic grasp of the controls to get the ones in this level. This place is split into two distinct parts. There's the outdoor skate park back there, and then there's the indoor skate park in here, with a lot more rails to grind and where the rest of the wheels are located at. I do recommend coming in here as soon as possible because the wheels in here are a bit harder to get. So you know you're probably going to want to get them as soon as possible. You grind in this game simply by holding down the grind button, but you can rebalance yourself a lot easier by jumping and then starting your grind again. If that last jump through the window looked difficult, I can assure you it's not. The game auto balances it so that way you end up on top of the rail and all you have to do is hold the grind button. Now up here is a bit more difficult because you have to actually angle your jump to end up on top of here. But that's as simple as, you know, just actually going at it from an angle and letting go of the jump button when you reach the very top of the ledge. As with most skating games or sports games of this nature, holding down the jump button allows you to prep your jump and jump higher when you let go. Simply tapping the jump button doesn't get you nearly as much height, so that's important to remember. And the last three wheels are up here. Oh. So the most important thing this level teaches you is how to angle your jump so that you can end up on top of structures from a ramp. Like... Oh. Well, theoretically like that. Like this. Close enough. Collecting all the wheels is often the most difficult challenge of all the maps. So after you get that done, you shouldn't have too much issue taking out the rest of the challenges, which are mostly point-based. I can certainly think of a few situations where that's rather difficult, though. So we got the 30 wheels, but that counts as an extra challenge. In order to unlock the next level, we just need to get the level clear point score of 10,000 points, which is not very much at all. The easiest place to get the 10,000 points is right here in the starting area. There's half pipes right over here on top of this building that you can easily use to get a few points. And if that isn't doing it for you, then there's a ton of ramps down here as well. There's no reason to, a to ever leave this opening area if you're trying to get the high score. You have your basic assortment of tricks, but you can also do things like do a trick into a handstand or into a grind, which is very useful for getting an extra amount of points. And of course you can also spin in the air while you're doing a trick. Very useful. If we complete enough uh, tricks consecutively, we eventually get a time bonus, which is dictated by that little meter over there to the right above our time. It might honestly be better just to restart the level if you're that hard up on time, though. Either way, we unlock the second level, School's Out, so we're gonna do that next time.